In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your Pokemon overlay as well as webcam and gameplay of your game into OBS Studio. So the first thing you want to do is go down to your sources here in OBS Studio and hit the plus sign and then image. Name the image whatever you want, it doesn't matter because this will be the only image you're adding. Hit browse and then in the downloads you'll have to convert your Pokemon overlay that was in paint to a JPEG. Literally just search up PDN to JPG and it's like the first link there on cool utils or cool utensils. Simply go to that website and you'll be able to convert the PDN to a JPEG and then add it into OBS. Once you have the actual image in OBS, you can then add another source which will be your video capture device name it whatever you want hit ok then here you will be given options for this video simply for setup purposes i'm going to be using my laptop's webcam hi uh so then just hit ok and then you can drag the image down here by your border and simply place it inside may look a little wonky and it may take a little bit of trial and error to get it properly set up, but it is 100% feasible and possible to do. Simply play around with it mainly, see what kind of way you want it to get set up. If you ever need to actually extend it, simply hold shift and then expand it like so. Your webcam may look a little funny, but it will match the border outline. And voila. I'll just leave it like that for now. You guys can play around with it a bit more, but that's the rough way of how it should look. Afterwards, you then need to add your gameplay. Simply pull up whatever game you're playing. Have that off to the side. For example, you'll see here, I have Heart Gold pulled up because it was the first, uh, I guess first um what's the word emulator or game on emulators i can find that i downloaded but anyways you're going to go to window capture name it whatever you want and you will see this pop up simply hit ok and then to adjust it you can hold the alt key and it will you'll be able to control what place or gameplay you are capturing. Now this is assuming the reason why I'm not worrying about the bottom screen in this case is because this layout is mainly going to be for whatever game comes out next aka it's going to be on the switch so there won't be a need for a bottom screen. So for the sake of this tutorial I will just be showing you the top screen. Again hold shift here stretch it out play around with it and you will have your gameplay section shown. You can match it up a bit better. Ooh. Play around. Again, just, it, just play around with it. Try to get it to match up to the border. And you will be good to go. Like so. So once you have done this, uh, you need to actually get into adding in the images to your party and the badges. But obviously, you don't want to do that while you're in the middle of recording it. So, what you then have to do is, for example, let's just say we were recording this part right here, just in a few second clip, and I will show you what I mean. So, I quickly recorded this section here in OBS. I can then simply exit out and take me back into Streamlabs where I'm actually recording it. Now, if I open up DaVinci Resolve here, we can actually properly edit in the pictures of your Pokemon team members and the gym badges you have. Once you have DaVinci Resolve open, simply go down and hit New Project. Name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to leave it like so. And it will open up into this section here. Once you're in DaVinci Resolve, go over to the Edit section here, or the first one on the right. Right click the No Clips and Media Pool section and hit Import Media. 
select the video you just recorded and it will be added into the pool here. Once added in, simply drag it down into your timeline. Don't worry about the two audio tracks because this is not what the video itself is about. Simply wait for the actual clip or image or whatever you've imported into DaVinci to load here. It may take a minute or so and it will pop up. You can play the video, see what it's like, but that's not the focus. The focus is to add in the badges that you have and your party members. Now to add in your first party member or most likely your starter. Simply go to Google Images and let's just say for example you pick Chimchar as your starter. Find an image of Chimchar, preferably a PNG that has the background like so. Right click the image and save it. Make sure it saves as a PNG and not a web PG for then it won't work. Simply save the PNG Go back into Resolve, right click the pool, and hit Import Media. Double click the PNG you just saved, and then you can then add it into your timeline. As you can see, it'll come back or come out as transparent, and the background won't be there. But now we need to actually get that Pokemon into the party slot. Simply click on the actual image bar in your timeline, and then hit the Inspector button. Right here you'll see zoom and position. These are going to be our main sort of things to use for this. Adjusting the zoom for this will, as you can see, adjust the size. So adjust the zoom however you want, preferably smaller or to match best match your party slot, and then drag the image over there with the position X coordinate, and then drag it down with the position Y coordinate until it's roughly in your box slot. Once it's actually in there, that's when you can really start to adjust the zoom levels on it. So for example, we'll make it a bit smaller to properly fit in and position it a little bit better. And there you have it. If you choose to, you could even move the image a little bit and then adjust this here to make it so the image sort of fades in. So if you play your clip now, it sort of fades in. It'll be a bit hard to see as it fades in in DaVinci Resolve since at least for me the it kind of lags when I add something new so you, it, but I guarantee you in the final product it will fade in you can see it a little bit coming in right here but either way now that you have your party member added you want to add your badge or your first badge to do that simply go back to Google Images go to Google make sure you're on images and for example, just say you want the beacon badge, for example. So you search beacon badge PNG. Like before, with Chimchar, you'll see this come up. Give it a second to load and you'll see it has the transparent background. Simply right click and save the image. Save it as whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Now, head back into DaVinci Resolve, right click the media pool and hit import media. Double click the badge that you just downloaded and like Chimchar, it will appear to have a black background but it will actually be transparent. Now again, just like Chimchar, go to inspector and you can change the zoom a bit here. Hence the slots are really tiny, we're going to need to make the badge a bit smaller. Once in here, you can simply use the inspector, change its zoom and position, and that looks roughly okay, and flit it, fit it into the slot there. Do this with every party member you have and every badge you obtain. If you are doing a Nuzlocke, for example, and a Pokemon on your team dies, and you're not able to switch it out of your party right away, simply over here in the title section, add the text box. Add it above so it doesn't overlap, and then drag it over here and click on it, and you'll see it just as basic text. Once again, hit the inspector and change it to an X. After that, go to the font family and scroll all the way up until you see Arial Black to make it a bit more prominent. Hit the color key and put it into the top right corner, sorry, top left corner to make it red, and hit the OK button.
and there you have a red X. Now, like before, simply go down to positioning, and you can sort of slide it over to be above a Pokemon that faints, for example, or in a Nuzlocke case, dies. So simply, bro if my Chimchar, if I lost that, I can simply put a red oak X over it to show that it died in a Nuzlocke, like so. That is going to be all for this tutorial. If this tutorial helped you out, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to see the previous video where we created this Pokemon overlay, I'll put a link in the description for it. Thank you so much for watching.